home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company. Read BBS, BBS. Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies. Televisión, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. So Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker post-fight. Virg improves his record to 17 and 0, 17 KOs. A uh, good night for Dallas Fort Worth boxing. It was a Dallas Fort Worth super fight, and it lived up to the bill. Uh, they gave a touching shout out to Vivero Boxing Gym before the fight. That's where Virg trains out of when he's here in Dallas. For those that don't know, it's kind of like you have Gleason's Gym in New York, of course. You have Cronk Gym in Detroit. You have Wild Card Gym in Cali. Well, Vivero's to me. That's the Dallas Fort Worth version of your Gleason's, your Cronk, or your Wild Card Gems. That's what Vivero's is to us. Anybody who was anybody has either trained there, sparred there, did something, had a cup of coffee there. You did something there. So it was good to see Vivero's gym be shouted out like that. Dallas Fort Worth super fight, like I said. Uh, it was what we thought it was. The fight was what we thought it was going to be. Fan friendly, up tempo. Furious toe to toe exchanges and a bag of chips. It was all that and a bag of chips. Virgil and Reese, man, they delivered. They delivered it all. It's an early fight of the year candidate. I would even go that far. Uh, Virgil, he came out with a higher guard than normal. He was stalking, though, and he was quicker to the punch just with his right hand leads, his counters, and his body shots. Whoo, whoo, the body shots. But Reese was Reese, though. Reese was Reese. He probably won round three, and for sure, he won the fourth round. And I personally don't recall Virgil Ortiz losing a round as a pro previously. I ain't never seen it until round four for sure against Hooker, possibly even round three. But Virg stayed the course, though. He stayed the course. He took some shots. He endured some facial damage. But he immediately took back control in the fifth with the body attack. Like, literally, by the end of the fifth, uh, Reese was telling Bo Mack he couldn't breathe between rounds. Like that's why he was catching shots, and Bo Mack like, man, quit taking all these shots. He's like, coach, I couldn't breathe. Sorry. So yeah, from that point on, Reese, his elbows was tucked like a motherfucker. Uh, dropped at the end of the sixth. Then he landed a punch to Virgil's shoulder and injured his own hand and took a final knee and was uh, the, you know, Lawrence Cole stopped it. Best win of Virgil's young career. Unquestionably, best win of Virgil Ortiz's young career. Toughest opponent, exciting affair, and he's not dodging any smoke. Virg said he wants a title shot, uh, and with that said, I believe he's the, now the number two contender per the WBO, which is held by Terrence Crawford at 147 pounds. You know, Crawford was in the building, as was Earl Spence. Uh, there was booze for Bud. Whenever they show, put the camera on them, no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. Have some fun with it. Then Reese is interviewed. He says everybody in Dallas, Texas won tonight. And he was right. The whole region, not just Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, DFW proper, we won. But then things took an unfortunate turn when Maurice was asked about Ortiz versus his stablemate, Bud Crawford. And I quote, I love Virgil, he from Dallas, he's a good fighter, a future world champion, but he ain't ready. And next thing you know, boos start raining down. DFW fight fans booing a DFW fighter. Like we're talking literally about the fourth motherfucker from Dallas to ever win a professional boxing title from this goddamn city. Curtis Cox, Quincy Taylor, Errol Spence, and Maurice Hooker. Maurice Hooker deserved better than that. But hey, just Mo, one thing Mo got is nuts, so he handled his own business. And he followed up with everybody that's booing, fuck y'all. You know I'm a warrior. And I loved it. Because I felt so bad for him, but he reacted. I don't care what nobody say. I loved how he reacted. Fuck y'all. Now, I'm not sure if the boos were about his Bud Crawford comment or the way the fight ended. But it was some bullshit, however you slice it. Either way, it was some bullshit. You don't boo a fucking former world champion in his city, ever. Cheer for Virgil, absolutely cheer for Virgil. I did, again, career-defining win thus far. But you don't boo Maurice Hooker if you're from Dallas, man. Fuck that. Respect to Virgil Ortiz on an excellent win. Major step in his career development. I mean, he just stopped the former world champion, like I stated. 
He could beat Terrence Crawford. There's absolutely no way you can rule it out. But he'll be quite an underdog, understandably. I think someone like a Keith Thurman or a Danny Garcia, I said about a year ago he was 50-50 with both of them. I'd love to see him take that route instead. But if it's Bud, and he say he don't care if he's ready or not, let it be Bud then. From the home of the three-piece combos, Pugilism Company, Reed BBS, BBS, Blackberg Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.